Okay, folks, I'm going to be doing some garden picking here today. Uh, this is my centronella plant here. And uh, I fertilize everything today. I've been fertilizing like uh, twice a month, and uh, it hasn't been doing so well. My plants, these are my roses here. And um, now I'm, I'm, what I'm doing now is fertilizing every week, every weekend. I come out here and fertilize. So, we got a pink, pretty pink rose there. And on the side over there, I had some uh, grape tomato plants that was in there for quite a while. I recently planted them over here, and they're, they're growing pretty well. I need to stake this one up. These are my cherry tomato plants from last year. They're actually set, uh, second generation, what I call them. And let me go down here. Enter the monitoring area. Okay, um, I kind of gave up on watermelon because I had two of them that had a uh, blossom rod on them and I had to throw them away. And uh, there's another watermelon right here. We'll see what that one's going to do. I'm not having no luck on watermelon this year or last year. Year before I, I did, I had a couple of watermelons. Well, we'll see what happens. We got the squash. <laughs> and we've been getting a lot of tomatoes. We've been eating tomatoes every night. Shelly sliced a couple of them, quite a few of them up, and we'll eat them with dinner. Let me move this stuff here. And what I've been doing, so the bugs don't get them. Last year, bugs got quite a few of them. So I just let them stay on the vine until they start getting bigger, and that's not working. So we're going to pick them before they turn all the way. On the counter, they're going to turn red anyway, just sitting on the counter. That was not so good. I'm going to throw that one away. You notice I've been throwing the uh, tomatoes out here for wild animals and stuff. And I'm going to show you what happens since I've been doing that. <laughs> Never saw that happen before. They're small tomatoes, but, you know, we just slice them up, put them on a plate, put a little salt on if you want, and then just, just eat them. This one here is not looking too well. I'm going to go ahead and... Pull this early. We might throw it away anyway. Let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, picking this one also. There's another one down here. I'm doing this uh, it, uh, every Wednesday and every Sunday. I'll be picking to, uh, my plants. Probably won't put them on the camera, but that's what I've been doing. Anyway, the reason my watermelon had root rot, I mean blossom rot, I done research on it, is because it's low on calcium, they say. So I had a bunch of eggshells in the house I crushed before last year, and I, I just sprinkled that on the soil and stuff and watered down the soil. I'm going to do my soil different next year. Yeah. I'm on a Got yeah, some nitrogen, some uh, some uh, calcium and stuff, and mix it right in the soil by hand. That's what I'm going to do. Nah, I'm going to throw that one away too. And here's my yellow peppers here. They're not growing too fast as they used to. This is my second generation. I grew these from seeds for my last crop. Let's see. They're growing slowly though. Then we got some green peppers. Let me go ahead and pick a couple of the yellow ones. They're getting pretty good size here. Yeah. 
these are my cherry tomatoes from last year or two, uh, from, uh, I mean, my second generations. I saved the seeds, you know, I done it the Amish way. And uh, this plant here, I wasn't for sure what it was. And I Googled it. It's an Indian shot plant. I don't know if you can see anything on this picture here. But that's what it shows. And these are my cherry tomatoes. Like I said, I saved the seeds from last year. And uh, they got flowers on them. So we'll get some cherry tomatoes late in the season from these. Should have planted them earlier. You know, gardening is just learning things yourself. Okay, I'm going to pick this pepper here. We don't let them grow too long because they start getting black and start getting bugs in them. And so we just slice them up, put them in the, in the bag, uh, freezer bag, put them in the freezer. Then we use them for cooking. I'm gonna pick. Let's see. This one off. That one looks like it's not going to make it. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm only going to do this every Wednesday and, it's, and Sunday. That one's starting to get a split. I had one big one uh, a few days ago. See, look at that. See? Let me take that over here. We have to pull them off early. I don't use any insecticide. I'm thinking using that, uh, uh, I forgot what you call it. Something earth. Uh, anyway. Yeah, they'll be ready to eat in a few days here. There's another one. But like I said before, if you get a heavy rain, that'll cause the uh, tomato to split. You know, they get full water and they go up the vine and start splitting out here. That's salvageable, I think. Let's see, let me cut this limb off here. Any limb, that look like they're dying. I'm just getting rid of them. Trim them that back. Take this one too. Like I said, they'll change sitting on the counter, so I ain't worried about that. And see, when they're sitting on the ground like that, if you don't pick them up soon enough, which I did, and I was lucky this time, they'll start getting those peel bugs or roly poly or whatever you want to call them. They'll start eating on them. I should have brought a bigger basket with me. I brought this calendar out. Oh. It's getting pretty full. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this green one just fell. Not too loose. Okay, we're going to see what we can do with that. This is what I got so far. I brought this bow out here for another reason. I'm going to have to give me another colander. Let's 
see what I got on this side first. Yeah, you don't wait until they get really red, otherwise you'd be in trouble. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this in the house, and I'll be right back with uh, another container. Good. Good, ho good harvest. I can't keep them in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> 